everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm journaling about a family lunch at mexicali in glorieta mall in makati city philippines join me as i relieve this delicious meal and share some personal memories let's get started As always, I like to start by prepping my journal pages. These are the supplies I'm planning to use for this journaling session. I'll be incorporating some vibrant colors that remind me of the lively Mexican vibe at Mexicali. The restaurant's interior is so colorful with bright tones and festive decorations, it really sets the mood for a fun and energetic dining experience. When planning your day out, it's helpful to recall the energy and the vibe of those memories. Use design elements and colors that reflect that atmosphere, making your journal spread not just visually appealing but also emotionally resonant. I'll be adding a few stamps, stickers, and washi tapes with a fiesta feel to them, which perfectly complements the theme of the spread. As a starting point, I'll be using this Project Life card with a colorful hexagon header design. Next, I'll be adding this vibrant empty tape that I use on the left page. The same one we used in our last Journal with Me session. This tape matches the color of the header to create a cohesive spread. As we create our layout, I'll give you a brief background about the restaurant and why I felt nostalgic dining there. Mexicali, Philippines was established in 1993 with the first branch opening in Makati. It offered a California-style Mexican menu that quickly became popular in our country. I've been coming to this restaurant, though in a different location, for years, often with friends after school. It was our go-to spot to unwind after a long day of classes. As I look at these photos, I am reminded of all the memories we've shared over countless meals here. It's funny how these little things can make dining out such a fun and memorable experience.
So what did we order? First up was the carne asada burrito with cheese quesadillas. The burrito was incredibly flavorful, packed with perfectly seasoned beef and just the right amount of spice. I am especially pleased because the last time I dined here years ago, the burrito was quite dry. But this time, it was much improved and I really enjoyed it. The melted cheese in the quesadillas was divine, especially when dipped in the salsa. And of course, we couldn't resist the taco salad. It was fresh, crunchy, and had a delicious mix of textures and flavors. As I write about these details, I try to capture not just the taste of the food, but the overall experience. How it felt to reconnect with those old memories and create new ones. There's something deeply nostalgic about returning to a place that has been a backdrop to so many cherished moments. The familiar flavors, the lively atmosphere, and even the small unchanged details of the restaurant all bring back memories blending the past with the present. So when writing about your experiences, don't just focus on the taste of the food. Try to convey the overall experience, the ambience, the emotions, and the memories that made it special. This approach helps create a richer, more immersive journaling spread. As I'm journaling this, I'm struck by how food has this unique power to bring people together. This lunch felt extra special because it had been so long since we'd all gathered here as a family. It wasn't just about satisfying our hunger. It was about reliving traditions, rekindling connections, and sharing a piece of our history together. There's a comforting familiarity in returning to a place like this where each dish holds a story and every visit adds a new chapter. Sitting there enjoying our meal, I couldn't help but think about all the moments of connection and happiness we've shared over food throughout the years. The laughter, the conversations, the way food has a way of making people open up and bond. It's these simple joys that really make life beautiful, don't you think? It's not just about the meal itself, but the shared experience, the sense of belonging, and the memories that linger long after the plates are cleared. I hope this journal entry has given you a glimpse into not just the tasty Mexican feast, but the deeper meaning behind it all. The nostalgia, the family bonds, and the timeless memories that a place can hold. Now, I'd like to know, have you ever had a meal that brought back fond memories? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Don't forget to cherish those memories with your loved ones whether it's over a fancy meal or just a simple taco. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more journaling content. And be sure to check out my memory keeping and traveler's notebook playlist for more inspiration. See you in the next one. Bye!